Do you remember the Tide Pod Challenge? Well, it was a social media challenge where kids recorded themselves eating Tide Pod's laundry detergent, which could have been lethal. There's now a new dangerous social media trend making national headlines and one person has already died. I'm talking to local health experts who are pleading with children and parents to avoid the Benadryl challenge. The goal of the social media challenge for users to guess how much Benadryl they took and to reach a state of hallucination. A 15 year old girl from Oklahoma died after overdosing from the drug and dozens of others across the country are being rushed to the ER. Never a good idea to take any medicine other than what is prescribed for you. Dr. Clark Milton of Wheeling Hospital says Benadryl is usually known as a non-fatal drug used to treat simple things like bee stings. But when it take it in excessive doses, it causes major problems with the central nervous system. We used to say you get dry as a bone, red as a beet, and mad as a hatter. And the mad as the hatter is the portion that people are looking for delirium and hallucination, which leads to seizures and potential serious problems. So it is possible to die from taking Benadryl? It is possible. It's unusual, but it's possible. If someone overdoses on Benadryl in the city of Wheeling, Fire Chief Larry Helms and his team is there to respond. Immediately, we're going to treat their signs and symptoms. You know, if they're short of breath, we're going to give them oxygen. Um, we may start fluids to try to dilute the effect. But there's not one magic fix. This isn't a medication that we can give Narcan for and just stop the effect. It's something that's going to take time. Johnson & Johnson, the company that makes Benadryl, told News 9 in a statement, quote, the health and safety of people who use our product is top priority, and this online challenge is extremely concerning, dangerous, and should be stopped immediately. The company went on to say, quote, we are working with TikTok and our partners to do what we can to stop this dangerous trend, including removal of content across social media platforms that showcase this behavior. Both Chief Helms and Dr. Milton encourage parents to talk with their children and be aware of what they're doing. And kids, here's a message for you. Don't take too stupid challenges and be the next victim. Be smart. Don't do dumb things. And kids, if you are trying to impress somebody, this is not the way to do it. You know, you can cause yourself bodily harm and even death.